All right, now that we are familiar with building out a trip package with tracks, markers, and routes, we're going to talk a little bit about prepping and saving the background map imagery through our in-app subscriptions. Again, if we built this trip out right now and we left and went off the grid, meaning an area without cell data or Wi-Fi, the background, that paper map in the background would disappear. It would be blank. It would be gray. You would still have your GPS files sitting on the surface and you could still run this as a complete GPS unit. But a big benefit of this system is being able to save and prep out that background map imagery. So while we're in the field, if we need to deviate from that mission and plan a new route or do any of this planning in the field, we can. So to break this up pretty easy, if you're on foot walking around covering a smaller area, you can use the map subscription or the advanced subscription. If you're in a vehicle or you're in a mobility package, or you're going to be covering a lot larger area, you are absolutely going to want to run ProPack. ProPack allows you to save massive amounts of background map imagery for offline use, besides having some of the other high-end editing features that we talked about, or the pre-runner feature for our desert racers that allows you to edit quickly on the fly a route while pre-running an existing uh, course given to you by the race organization. But again, the differences between them are map subscription uh, lets you save out very small areas, maybe the size of a state park. Advanced subscription has the identical saving capacity as the map subscription. It just has a few more bells and whistles like range rings that allow you to range distance. If you're, say, shooting, uh, you can put increment rings out of your position every 100 meters out to 1,000. So you can quickly range estimate different things. Advanced subscription also has open terrain audio guidance we mentioned, but really the map subscription and advanced subscription are the same when it comes to saving and storing offline satellite map imagery. The Pro Pack subscription just saves a lot more. It has save along route, which lets you take a long route, like a thousand mile race route, and it lets you auto save along the route at a distance on either side and the zoom level you want instead of saving individual tiles. So again, right now we're going to use our training trip mission package that we've been building out. You can see we have our two routes in there. A couple tracks, a few markers that we dropped. But if I go offline right now with this system, without a subscription, it'll look like this right here. Now I can still pull up a route to rescue Fred hit run and you can see I still have all the GPS files stored on the device but there's no background so to save this background we're going to use one of the in-app subscriptions which are down here you can either use the pro pack if you're in a vehicle or if you need larger areas if you're just Using it for general use on smaller like state park areas, you can use the advanced or map subscription. But we've run the Pro Pack. I'd say most of the, our users are Pro Pack users. And we're going to go into the map. You can see those subscriptions open up a few other map types for us. We can click the map box satellite. Again, we're back home right now on Wi-Fi. You can see the map loading from the internet right now. We have it on Mapbox Satellite. Let's go out here and take a look at Mapbox Satellite, see what it looks like. I'm in max zoom right now, 18, and you can see everything depending on your internet speed is loading. You can see Mapbox Satellite is pretty decent in this area, down to 18. You might get to some areas, depending on where you're at, like the Baja Peninsula, to where your max zoom available is only 16. Below that, it might be blank, it might be black, or the imagery might be terrible and not worth saving. So you want to check this out before you start spending the time saving out your map imagery. But the imagery around here looks pretty decent, down to 18. I definitely want to take this with me. You can see it crisping up in here. So we definitely want to take Mapbox Satellite with us. Let's look at uh, some of these other map types. Mapbox terrain. So mapbox terrain is nice sometimes if you're in heavy mountains and you want to see actually contour lines so you can plan a little bit better. Like we showed you, it, it, it highlights trails a lot better. Uh, maybe you can't see them on a, 
on a satellite imagery and you want to take some of this with you just to have some Jeep trails marked out. Uh, so maybe we'll probably take both these map types with us on this trip. So I'm going to go back into here and switch back to the Mapbox satellite. So to take these maps with you, I'm going to go to the little cloud icon next to the maps that I'm allowed to save for offline use. I'm going to click on the actual cloud. You can see you have the download option and you have your current cache. This is what's currently saved, the amount of that map type. If I want to wipe this out for this trip, start from scratch, I can delete it. I'm going to go download. Now this download interface pops up. You can see it's a little pop-up window. In the center here, you have a highlighted block. This is the individual tile that you're going to save. If we were running map subscription or advanced subscription, the amount or size of this window would be a lot smaller than with ProPack. So you would have to save tiny micro tiles. Uh, for something like this area that we're working in right here, you might get away with using map subscription or advanced subscription. But on larger events or larger areas of operation, ProPack allows you to save one gigabyte individual tiles, allowing you to save much larger areas. So again, I'm going to make this, I'm going to size this tile. Down here in the bottom right, you see max zoom. That's the max zoom that this tile size is going to allow you to take. And again, I'm running ProPack, so you can see I can get fairly large with that tile before it switches to a lower zoom. So at this size, I could only save max zoom 17 and up. And if I get greedy and make that larger, 16 and up. So everything in this window will only be at the 16 level and up for offline use. So I want 18, I want the best there is. So I'm just gonna make an 18 zoom tile around this area. Hit save. You can see the tile starts saving out. Once that tile is complete, you'll see the max zoom that that tile is listed at. So this tile is max zoom 18 and up. Then if I want to save a larger area, I can go over here, save another tile. If I want to stop this at any time, I can click over here. If I want to continue downloading that tile, I can click on the actual label and hit complete download and it'll pick up where it left off. So I'm gonna skip this a little bit. Just imagine this completed. It all depends on the internet speed that you're running off of, of how fast these tiles download. But I'm gonna grid out this area. Again, I'll let that get to 100%. I'll let that get to 100% until I have the area that I want stored for offline use. If I zoom out, you can see there's a couple that are incomplete. Again, I can click on those individually and complete them. Now everything inside these blue blocks will be saved 18 zoom max. Now say for air coordination or for just general driving around, I wanna save some of this other area around the, the operation area. I can make a bigger tile. You can see I can get really big with it. This is the entire city of uh, Virginia Beach, Norfolk. And I can almost save the entire area in 16 zoom. And again, you can go out in your main map and zoom in and out of the map layers and look at your zoom, your scale window to kind of get accustomed to the different zoom levels and what you would want to take with you. Uh, a rule of thumb is if you're going to be just driving around town, 14 to 15 zoom and up is plenty uh, just to see major roads. But if you're out there on smaller trails or on foot, you definitely want to get down to that 17 or 18 zoom level. But like if I was driving around this area and we're going to be operating on foot in this area, I might want to save 18, but I probably want to save at least right here's 16 of the entire city in case we go venture out. So I'm going to highlight the whole area, 16 zoom and up and start download. Again, that'll, that'll download depending on your Wi-Fi. I'm just going to tile out this whole area, let that get to 100. Again, I can click on this tile anytime I want, complete it. 
and there you go. There's that map type. I can back out. Now you can see it gives you a general area. You have six individual areas saved, and we didn't let a lot of those areas save out completely, but right there's the uh, total size of that map type we have stored for offline use. So now, when I go off the grid, all I have to do is select the map type that we saved, and it'll auto display the saved tiles for that map type. So everywhere around your area, other than those areas you saved will be gray, and you just have to select that map type that you saved out, and it'll auto display the saved tiles. It's a good idea, again, to save out different map types, some terrain, some topo, and satellite. So then you can go while you're offline into the settings, into the map, and just toggle between the different map types that you had saved out, and it'll automatically display those saved tiles. So again, I could go into here, take some of this map box terrain with us, go to download, pull up the interface, and I'm just gonna show you briefly one of the pro features. If this was a super long route, uh, say a thousand mile race, and you didn't wanna save out individual tiles, well, one of the pro pack features is the ability to auto save along a track or route. At the beginning of each track or route, there's another cloud icon that you can click on and you can choose what zoom level you wanna take, say max zoom 18. You can do the distance from route, meaning on either side of the route that you wanna save out. Uh, depending on how much you think you're gonna deviate off course, you can save that out. If you get super greedy with it out to the one kilometer range, it might crash or take a long time to save. Uh, I wouldn't go past maybe 500 meters. Um, depending on the length of the route. Uh, but for this little short path, we'll just do 100 meters on either side. We're gonna be, uh, say we're gonna be on foot, we're not gonna deviate that much. I'm gonna hit save, and you can see down here, if I stop this, and go down to it, you can see that it already, it's pretty quick, it already started auto-saving along the route in blue. You can see it's gonna continue down the red. And that's at max 18 zoom. And I think we set that for 100 meters on either side of the actual line. And it also will just auto save a reference block around the entire route or track. And that reference block will be about 12 or 13 zoom and up. And I can hit continue at any time. And you can watch that. Boom. And just know we've done this a lot where we've been in uh, hotels or something like that where we're trying to save out the map imagery uh, for a lot of the races down in Baja. That's You're stuck doing that. They won't give you the race course until you're out there. One of our events, uh, KOH, the King of Hammers, which is going down actually as I'm making this video, they don't hand the course out until you're out in an area that has barely any internet. And you just gotta, you gotta use what you got. I know when you try to start saving your map imagery, uh, it's gonna depend on that Wi-Fi signal. So it might take a while, it might crash, it might stop. You just have to go in there and hit complete and let that thing start taking off again. Another thing I wanna point out is that some folks will be like, why does it take so long to download map imagery? Uh, if you look at the file size that you're trying to save, you're like, well, heck, it's only, a, it's only like five gigs of map imagery. Well, it's a little bit different than downloading, say, a video or movie off the iTunes store. Um, there's a lot more going on. You're not just downloading a single file that's five gigs. You're taking tiles, individual map tiles from a server at different zoom levels. You're pulling those individual tiles and you're restacking and reorganizing those tiles in the lead nav. So the process is a little bit more complicated than just downloading, say, a five gig video.